This has got to be one of the craziest Joker arcs I've seen on the internet. And we saw it together over at twitch.tv forward slash Oompa Live. We've all heard of hoarders, people who collect an unusual amount of one thing. But most of us have probably never considered the fact that some people hoard living things. Say hello to the Rat King, Glenn. The story of this man is so insane, it made me behave erratically as I was being told it. And you guys were also losing your minds. Can we get another glute spread? Yeah, let's get a glute spread. Let's get a lemon pepper step of glute, glute spread right now. All right, a couple rotations, that's all we wanna do here, all right? Getting a couple rotations, put your hips into it. Make sure your lemon pepper steppers are on tight. We're warming up, all right, and then boom. Same thing, back, glute spread. All right, boys, big chungus, here we go, 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 here we go. Are we ready? Are we ready? All right, let's do this. I'd readily admit that I have way too many rats. Yeah, you don't fucking say there, Jim Bob. Off to a good start here. This guy's self-aware. He's got a lot of rats. Why does he have so many fucking rats? That's crazy. What's the point of having all these rats? Let's read the comments. I have no judgment to the rat king. I can't imagine what he's been through. God. <laughs> all right, now I'm 50 times more interested. The Rat King? He literally sees them as his children. That's you know what insane. these rats are gonna go. <laughs> what? There's rats it's the big rat Bowski. I mean, they're coming. Oh gosh. The rat guy looks like the big rat Bowski. I mean, he really does. He looks like Jeff Bridges, and not in a good way. And he has a lot of rats, and they're all boring rats. They're not like cool looking rats. They're just like rats you'd see on the street. Not even good ones. It's his intestines hanging out, Glenn. You need oh, to no. make the decision to put it down. Oh no, my rat. You know, they live like a year, dude. They live like two years, something like that. This guy's always in a constant state of just losing his f children, it seems like. Really attached to animals, like you know, dogs, cats, but not too many people would think of pet rats. At this point, you may be thinking, how can it get any crazier? Well, my friend, it can, and it does. Some people say, oh, what would you ever want a rat for? Just don't knock it till you tried it. He likes some big old nuts they got. I bet he's like, he likes them big old forbidden nuts, like a big forbidden walnut on the back of that thing. And it's a long, their nuts are huge, dude. Their nuts are huge. They uh, were caged at one time. They managed to caged get out one and time. shoot a hole through the wall and got oh. into the walls and that was that. <laughs> and uh, they soon became many. Oh my God, the way he said that is like a fucking like omen to some kind of <laughs> to horrible story. Every single night they Sweet, passionate love with them big old nuts they got. I tell you what, it's quite a sight to see two rats make sweet, passionate love. <laughs> in the I mean, his drawers, house is ruined. Up in the uh, ceiling, in the walls, in the mattresses. This is disgusting. Oh, man. They're everywhere. Yeah, they are. It's weird. They're totally out of control. Yeah, bro. They're all inbred. Yeah, like, insert a co-princess. Co that's what I was going to say. He made his very own new breeder rats. Yeah, the rat got out of there and started sleeping out here in my office. I love the way he looks. They'd crawl up on a pillow and start pulling my hair out. Oh. Try and make nesting material out being of it. Being eaten alive by rats. He's being eaten alive. Moisture, like, in your eyeballs or on your lips. Oh, my. Start licking. Oh, dude. A little tough to uh, sleep that way. Yeah, dude. My name is John. I'm who the, who the f are, who, This is literally the Big Lebowski. This is the this is John Goodman's character. That rug really tied the room together, did it not? Fucking a. And this guy peed on it. Donnie, please. This is the Big Lebowski. Where's Sam Elliott at? Glenn's affection for his rats was triggered by a family tragedy. Uh, a day I don't like oh. to remember because everybody else remembers me. it for a different reason. You told me that nine. first. Uh, my wife died suddenly of a heart attack at age thirty-nine. Oh, that's 39. so sad. I see the truck that she was driving sitting over there next to the uh, fire department. Pulled oh, in there, no. and she was leaning over on the seat, and, uh, and they tried to revive her, but it was too late. Oh, that's so sad, bro. I miss her. Oh, poor Glenn. Oh, that's not a good scene. Should have cut Every that out. Damn day. Poor guy. You know, I'm not laughing at the poor guy, but like the the noises he was making. Not uh, yeah, and also why do he like rats? Stuff. Hoarding is a mental disorder usually triggered by a traumatic experience. Yeah, it seems like that. Seems like that. The animals themselves are now in a I'm Adam exactly. Gandola. I'm the director of animal cruelty issues with the Humane Society of the United States. This guy looks like he cares about animals a lot. I think what's unique in this situation um, is one, the sheer number of animals involved. That's a lot. Um, certainly for us, this is, this is a first to deal with over a thousand rats. Look at his <laughs> rat king chair, dude. Even his chair, he looks like the rat king. They ate his whole house up. They, they, they ate his chair up. Is he even alive now? He's gotta be dead and I guarantee you he ate it. And at this moment, uh, we all collectively realize that 
this is a lot sadder than it than it appears outwardly because he's he he got murdered. He's murdered. He got murdered. That's not good. That's not good. That's not funny. He got murdered. He got murdered by a rat or what? Oh my God. The chat reaction to this moment was nothing short of expected. Let's be real. Brenner was the victim of a home invasion. Hours after the fact, he was found by one of his employees with his hands and feet tied together with zip ties. The wheelchair he had been using was nowhere in sight and his head was bleeding from severe trauma. He died after being in a coma for 10 days. That's so sad. I think being killed by the very rats he took care of. <laughs> Like a meat canyon video. That's actually really funny. I mean, it's horrible. Humor is how I deal with all situations, which has gotten me in a lot of trouble, to be honest, especially live on Twitch. The males tend to get a little uh, feisty. Yeah. Because I think they all look the same. Females in heat. There's so many of them. The rats in my house. We have a symbiotic relationship. Me and my rats, all 1,000 of them, they're all named. I ask one thing from God every day. I ask him to grant my rats the serenity to accept the things they cannot change. For the most part, it appears to be a domestic breed of rats. Um, I don't like them. I think they're ugly. Large population of rats. Some people like think they're cute. Uh, they're just, they're not able to get the attention and socialization that yes, they really rats. need. And they, they sort oh, of oh my, oh, oh. This face is of a man whose blood ran cold when he saw that. That's insane. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, okay, that was a murder. I thought we were witnessing rat there for a second. I thought that that one rat was getting some ratussy. When you walk into the house, the first thing that you see are rats everywhere. Oh my God, rats they are everywhere. Coming literally out of the walls, out of coming the mattresses, everywhere. out of chairs and the cupboards. The rat throne. They're everywhere. It's the rat throne. Are they friendly? Yeah. Look at this little guy in here. Yep. Mm -hmm. These are, these are your pets. Is like he trying to look like He's trying to. It's the same exact thing. Oh, maybe I'm mixing up this guy and him, yeah. This is his buddy though. This is the other character in the show. Um, you know what's He's to crying? come, that these rats are gonna go. And I know that you you love every one of these. I do. That's gotta be a pretty big hit to think that they're all gonna be gone. I mean, you've, you've lived in this lifestyle for some time now. Well, I'm gonna keep one. You're gonna keep one? One. Okay. Do you have a special one that you're gonna keep? Not yet. My special one uh, died. Uh... <laughs> hey, Caleb. I'm just so waking up from anesthesia from a surgery today. Super happy to see you streaming. Hopefully, you're doing well. Thank you for the 500 bits. Hopefully, your surgery went well. Hopefully, you recover very well. This is a very awkward moment for a dono. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I mean, that's a weird reaction. Saturday, Saturday morning. He really loves rats a lot. Tell me about your special one. I've had her for a long time, but she's probably- uh, Poor guy, dude. Probably some other mother of like 90% of these. 90%? That's a lot of babies that that rat has had. And my fear is that watching them go is gonna trigger- This is his room. Oh my God. Foo Fighters, Oh. I mean, he does have some like kind of sus like decorate. Like this is normal people don't really write on their walls. I don't think it was at this moment. I began to realize what exactly we were all in for in watching this episode of Hoarders, a true Joker arc. Poor Glenn, man. I feel bad for this guy so much. Hopefully not. And we know it didn't end well either. That's the worst part of all this. I did not want to have this many rats. This is a fucking, the creepiest Joker I've arc of all time. I've been trying to get this under control for about two years. You're not doing that. They're bringing a semi truck to get rid of all these rats? But I just didn't know what to do. He's a handsome guy too, a cool guy. It's gotten to the point of- <laughs> Did that guy's shirt say rat rescuer? It did say that. They got fucking shirts made for this shit. This truly is the weirdest episode of TV I think I've ever seen. We've provided a temperature controlled vehicle that they'll be able to stay in and be comfortable. Um, and they will be transported. They're just putting them the in temporary rubber made containers? So, Lauren, you're here from North Star Rescue. Why don't you tell Glenn exactly what you guys will be doing? We're here to help with the assessment of the rats, the overall health, make sure that they're humanely handled through every part of this process, and to make sure that every rat that we can rehabilitate gets adopted into a safe and permanent home. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Just out of total transparency, it took every single ounce of every single bit of willpower that I had to not We're mimic that woman as she talked. The rats, the overall health, make sure Sorry. Just had to just had to be clear. I have a problem. I have to do that stuff, but I didn't because it'd be offensive if I did that. While Adam and his team modify their methods of capture, Matt's team begins flushing the rats from their nest in the furniture. Oh 
my god. They're running all through the coils. Give them a minute to get out. my god. You're gonna notice underneath. I mean, they're coming, guys. Oh my lord. That is so foul. I do not even, I no longer feel bad. I no longer feel bad for Glenn. That's fucking so gross. It's insane. That is so gross. It's insane. Get a tiny rat shotgun and then just start blasting. That's what I say. Terminator won it, okay? Just wheels the rods. I don't think we're probably halfway there yet. Yeah, no shit, dude. Makes sense as to why they needed a, uh, a uh, an entire 18-wheeler. Shockingly, Glenn held it together. I didn't think he had it in him. Well, that's not very nice. I didn't think he had it in him. He is such a p It's insane how much of a bitch he is. Suddenly, Glenn is called to the veterinary tent where injured and sick animals are being examined. Examined. How many sick, dead rats does he have? So this guy has a wound you can see underneath. We yeah, actually found it out. His oh. intestines hanging out, Glenn. Oh, no. So he need, we need to give him a shot right now. Abdomen. Let's get so that. I don't want to see that. He suffered a, a bite in his testicles, actually, that went up into his abdomen. Oh, no. You need to make the decision for this rat in its best interest to put it down. He's like, oh, God. Oh, shit. I can't handle this. Though visibly shaken by the decision, Glenn agrees to the euthanization of the rat. We're about to watch a rat get euthanized. No! Oh! Why, why are they editing like it like this? Glenn? He's leaving. Glenn? He can't handle this. He's getting in his rat mobile and he's gonna drive away. It's like the 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 dog mobile from um, Dumb and Dumber, but it's like a rat instead of a big dog. And he's gonna drive it away. He drives out of there really fast. Okay. All right. A lot of rats. These are not even domesticated. They say they're pushing up towards a thousand. Whoa. What? We need to get the Pied Piper in this bitch. Isn't that a guy who played a flute and lured all the rats? But it's like a like a it was symbolic for children or something. He was a it was a YouTuber. Advised by Dr. Zessio to retain only one rat from his horde, Glenn has been searching for the rat he calls Commander Whitehead. No way! Bullshit! That's him. <gasps> Yay! Right. Woohoo! Awesome! What? Good job, you guys! Aw, cute rat. Just kidding. <laughs> There's gotta be diseases in this house, holy. no doubt. I got tails galore here. I got a couple okay. tails. Let me grab these fucking rat. Give me the Polish fucking rat out of here. POB, you are a rat in Glenn's wall, and a funny looking guy finds your tail hanging down. Turn off your headphones if you're a headphone user. I have neighbors. You did a good job, Matt, flushing them out because now they've, they've taken away their hiding place, so oh, they've flushed out to where we can grab them. Out you try to flush him, you ready? Oh, they got, they got the Skippy, the Skippy natural, all right? Oh wait, right here. Poor grown up son, went a little ready. <laughs> he seems like he's doing a little bit better. Your way. Also, another thought, I'd like to think that he's up there in heaven right now with just a big old handful of rats. Just as many rats as he can get. And he's like a, an Elden Ring boss. Instead of having a sword and stuff, he has just rats. And he throws them at you, and then they bite you. Before the rats leave on their journey to the temporary shelter, Glenn wants to say goodbye. So he kisses each and every single rat goodbye. And it's quite strange. Goodbye. Is this the first time you've been in this chair? Yeah. Poor guy. Look at him looking at all the rats. Are you telling me this is the result of that entire show? This is the end? The rats taken in boxes left Glenn the Rat King to die? They removed his rat throne? This is bullshit. This is not a good end. It has to get better. And I promise, it does. Because this is way sadder knowing that he got murdered. Oh, why do they record him crying all the time? Glenn can find some solace in the fact that his rats are heading off to a better life. Well, unfortunately for Glenn, I know they've done, show, done a lot of work to set up this adoption network. He didn't find a lot of solace gotta, in the future. Get as many out and he was murdered. as possible. He was literally murdered. This is horrible. Enjoy him. There's the no happy, time. there's no happy end. And you can get very attached to them. Yeah. You know, I hope they enjoy them as much as I did. In fact, I hope they enjoy them more than I did. Uh, I heard they went to a snake farm.